Welcome to the Narrow Book that James Bill. I hope you're very well. Thanks for joining me. Thank you so much for your lovely comments in the last video. It really did cheer me up. And now I'm going to do the same to my saloon. I'm going to cheer it up by making a lamp to go in that corner over there. I'm going to attempt to go right round the back of there, cut a hole there, try to squeeze a coat hanger down the back of it through the insulation so it pokes out down there and then see if i can feed a cable through i've only got about a foot and a bit to get through so that's going to be my plan i'll always be able to cover up the hole anyway with the shelf itself so that'd be all right okay rather miraculously that worked so now i've got to swap this cable with a lighting cable so i just strapped it to that and i'm hoping if i kind of manipulate it a bit and pull the wall out connect this into the dinette and then I can get rid of this one now perfect good okay yeah that can connect into the back of the dinette now I've got to work out what kind of lamp I'm going to make for this thing I've got an idea of what to do for the light shades, but I don't know exactly what to do with actually mounting it to this. So I'm gonna have a think about that. Whilst I do, there's a music video for you to watch. After the last video, my dad found inspiration, picked up the guitar, and in his little home studio, which consists of a iPhone and a few amps and stuff, uh, he managed to put this together. I think it's brilliant, I hope you enjoy it. Well, since I lost my job, I got a new tale to tell. I got me a permanent mooring at the Heartbreak Hotel. I got the Narrowboat Blues. Yeah, they're creeping up on me. I got the Narrowboat Blues. They're my only company Well it never stops from raining and the weather's cold as hell so I got me a permanent mooring at the Heartbreak Hotel I got the narrow blues yeah they're creeping up on me I got the narrow blues It's my only form of company I still got my guitar to talk to Move over, over
Well, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Thanks again, Dad. Now, light shades. I have chosen three jars of chilies, and the plan is to get rid of the chilies and clean the bottles. I want a colourful yet shiny and glossy light shade. So my plan is to get a long, thin brush, some kids' paint, and dab the inside, which is not proving as simple as I thought. And now I've started to run out of colour ideas. So I got Carol on the phone, who's an artist, and she gave me ideas of what colours to mix to make all the different shades. So now I can go about populating this with dots. Right, now for the housing. I've contoured it to take the angle of the wall. And I've gone in with some light fittings. These take the W5W bulbs. Now I need to make a hole in this lid which will go over that, like that. Right, I've now attached this cable to the uh, junction box underneath the dinette. So this is all powered up. I've kind of done this without the cladding to it and I haven't painted it on or anything, but I've got the lids of the bottles in there and I'm going in with these W5Ws. These are the halogen ones actually. I'm going in with these ones, which are the LEDs. Got a whole little variety here. Oh, they've got some pink ones, reds, ambers, yellows, but I'm using the amber LEDs. So that's the plan for this. And these are pretty much finished now. The idea is that they look quite nice without the lights on, i.e. there's kind of quite a bit of colour there. Um, so that's all those three. It was a right palaver because each one, I mean, they're not brilliant, to be honest, because... I did it with a long brush, but like inside each one, it just took forever. But I'm quite happy how they come out, but proof of the pudding and all. So the idea is, yeah, they just kind of go into their holders like that. So that means when it's navigating, it won't vibrate away. And there we go. So it's kind of, well, it's quite a nice light, isn't it? It kind of, well, it's interesting. Lots of different colours. I think a different paint would have probably been better. I used, like, rubbish kids paint. But, I don't know, it kind of works. It's quite fun to do. It's really mindful. So, yeah. But look at these. These pink ones are cool. Check that out. It's a decent light in there. So you've got different colour lights and a bit more power on those. A bit of a white one. Well, you could if I didn't break it. Here we go. You get the idea. So you can go all different types of things. It's quite nice. And then I've just got to make a back bit for that, change the connections, whack it onto the wall, pull the cable to it, jobs are good. I do quite like the fact that it's a floating shelf floating shelf but it's you know you can't see why it's going to it so that's uh that's quite nice so i've achieved that but i think i need the light to shine downwards yeah i'm pretty happy with that it looks quite nice although it doesn't do what i wanted to do what i wanted to do is shine light downwards and obviously it's not doing that at all so as a result of which this area is still quite dark so i have to revisit that um but uh, i did enjoy it. it's quite therapeutic doing all that so uh yeah, that was quite enjoyable, uh, as was reading all the comments on the last video. So, again, thank you so much for your kind words. Um, and sorry I haven't managed to get back to anyone yet. I've just been out. I've had a manic couple of days with the kids. So, um, but I will get back to that. But one comment which kind of was, um, which shone quite brightly, was the fact that um, not many people want to 
do a subscription like uh, like the members channel, which I totally get. But they did suggest doing a buy me a coffee thing, which I didn't really know too much about. But I've had a look into it and that seems like quite a good idea because it's just like a one off, I guess, if you want it to be. So I have um, I've signed up to that. So if you want to buy me a coffee, then uh, please do so. If you go to the pay, if you go to the narrowboat that James built page on YouTube, you'll see under the uh, under the the last bit, which I think says about. Let me just double check that. Uh, yeah, if you scroll across all the way to the end, it says about, and then there is a option to uh, do it through buy me a coffee or PayPal. I'll put links to them in the description of the video. So if you do want to do that, then thank you. As I said, it's, it makes a massive difference. And again, to all the new members, there were loads of you. So thank you so much. That again does make a real big difference. So I put a, I put a video up late last night. So I hope you guys have seen that. Uh, it was just about actually it showed you a bit of this. Um, but it was also just showing me showing you what my plans are as you know I'm going up to Birmingham tomorrow I might show you a bit of that in due course hope you guys are very well until next time take care bye bye